One of the great new features in cars these days is uh, the use of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which come installed in many cars. Uh, what they do is offer a simple interface and connection with your phone so that you can access your uh, music, play the music through the stereo, uh, access your contacts to make phone calls through the car, and even access your uh, navigation on your phone. Uh, the problem is not every car has it, or they uh, it may cost more than what you want to pay, or maybe you already have a car and it doesn't come with it, but you really want that feature. So uh, you might have a problem up till now, at the very least, if you have an Android device. Android Auto is now available to download to your phone. And what that does, it gives the same clean interface on your phone. What you do is you connect the phone like you would normally through Bluetooth to your, to your uh, car, uh, plug it in for you to USB for charging, and then it offers you a simple interface for navigation, uh, you can get directions and you know just like any other navigation system uh, phone you can access your contacts uh, you can call people you can make texts and then you can access all the music in your phone uh, and play it through the car stereo all a very simple uh, interface that you can use while driving uh, another great aspect is now it's got what they call OK Google which is their um, sort of personal assistant where it's just voice activated, you can ask for directions, uh, you can ask uh, stupid facts, whatever you want. Okay, Google, where's the nearest gas station? Showing results for where's the nearest gas station. Now, two caveats. First of all, all of this information is coming through your data uh, your data package. So you better watch it because you could end up paying a lot of money for that. But second of all, and more importantly, most importantly, is you need some sort of holder in your car. You cannot just hold on to the phone with your hand. First of all, it's illegal and you can pay fines up to a thousand dollars. Second of all, it's dangerous. That's why it's illegal. So please get a holder for the phone. Uh, but apart from those things, this seems to work very well and it's a good workaround if you don't have it in your car. For driving.ca, I'm Neil Verano.